Great eights so and welcome to lesson 8.1, solving equations by graphing. Follow along in your textbooks on page 252, and the goal is to use tables and graphs to uh, solve equations. So let's get going here. All right. So definitions first and foremost taken directly from your textbook. An equation is a mathematical statement in which the value on the left side of the equal sign, left side. Is the same as the value on the right side of the equal sign. These two values are to be equal, hence your equal sign. So that will equal to that. Solution to an equation, the value of a variable that makes the equation true. Here is a variable. It is just standing in for a number that we need to place in there to make this equation true so here is your variable okay oh, it's terrible half your face all right let's go on all right uh, from the textbook one of the examples is using a graph to solve an equation now first part of this question determine the algebraic expression for this pattern so figure one has how many seven one two three four five six seven second one has eleven so that increases by 4. All right, but this has 7 in it. So 7 will get 4 plus 3. However, remember what we talked about first term. So figure numbers usually, right, looks like that. Now, is this tr statement true? 4 times 1 plus 3 equals 7. All right, that's true. Let's plug it in for this one. All right, 4 times 2 plus 3 will equal to 8 plus 3 will give you 11. Does this work? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this works. And it'll work for this one. So this is the equation. So the equation we have here will be 4n plus 3. Now, solve, create and solve an equation to determine the number of the number of the figure with 39 tiles. So we have 11 here, 7, 11 and so on and so forth. So the first thing we have to do is make a table of values. And what we have to do here is continue the table of values. Now here we have everything increasing by 4. All right, so we go 6, 7, let's see what happens here. So 19 plus 4 give you 23. Okay, 23 plus 4 will give you 27. Okay, we're not there yet. 7 will give you 31. 8 will give you 35. And 9 will give you 39. Wonderful. So, probably, if we use the equation, 4 times 9 plus 3 will give you 39. Now, if we place this on a graph, as over as it's here, if we place it on a graph, we'll see at 39, we'll give you the ninth value, the ninth figure. So this should work. All right, so take all this down. And again, it's directly in the textbook. You find it on uh, page 253. I'm still getting used to this thing again. This pad. Two, no, 253. Yes, very good. All right, so never mind that. Forget about it. All right, so we will check our answer. So, 4 times 9 determined plus 3 so 4 times 9 is 36 plus 3 will give you 39 these are equal to the right side 
left and right side are equal. So are we right? Are we correct? Yes, we are. Definitely. All right. So this is a short one. And again, we'll go through class. Uh, we'll go into class next day and we'll go through this again. Uh, give another example just to make sure you're clear on it and we'll get to work. All right. So in the meantime, go back, copy everything down, follow along your textbook and uh, have questions ready for tomorrow. I was going to post a question here to be ready, but we'll go through it in class together. Okay. Thank you and see you in class.